Hey y'all, welcome if you're returning and welcome back if you're new. I'm Elle and this is At Home with Elle where I like to remind you that happiness is wherever your heart is. Today I have a cool video for you. I'm going to share my Amazon Prime Day haul. I really wanted to get this video out faster. However, each of my items was coming in individually which was kind of weird. Um, and then there was also a package that was lost so that was also fun. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to jump right in. I am a natural hair girly, so I do like the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line. I did pick up the Curl and Shine Shampoo, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and the Curl and Shine Conditioner. These normally go for anywhere from $12.99 to $14.99, depending on where you're purchasing them. I got each of these for either $7.99 or $8.99 on Prime Day. So this was a really good deal, and I'm kind of kicking myself. I feel like I should have doubled up and got two of each. But that's okay. We saved a little money. This was a really good deal and I was really excited to get these. Next up in my Prime Day haul was the Topicals brand. So I have to admit, this was a really good sale for Prime Day. Normally this stuff is really expensive and I got most of it for 30, I wanna say 25 to 35% off. So I did pick up the Topicals Ingrown Tonic. Um, I got that for my older son, just so when he shaves, he doesn't have razor bumps. And then I picked up the Topicals Brightening and Clearing Serum, which I absolutely love, even though it kind of has like a weird smell, but the smell fades. Um, but then like, I wanna say like 30 seconds of putting it on. It's, it's really not as bad as it used to be. The one that was like, two years ago I think they changed the formula but the smell about two years ago was way way worse I also picked up the topicals brightening eye mask I think you get six pair in here yes let's see yep you get six pair in here so really excited to use those I've used them once and I really did like them they did kind of brighten my under eye so I didn't have to use um, as much concealer when I use these so they're an oldie but a goodie for me kind of my fave so I was happy to pick these up on sale and Next again up, I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost with Hyaluronic Acid this is the hydrating gel cleanser if you have seen any of my um, packing videos for travel you've probably seen the travel size version of this I love this stuff it gets the makeup off it gets the gunk off it gets the sunscreen off um, no complaints absolutely love this and apparently this is a newer size this is the first time i've seen this one this big this is the 7.8 fluid ounce um, i usually just pick up the travel and i've kind of been living off of the travel bottles so really excited to get the bigger version of this and i absolutely love this facial cleanser you know how sometimes you order something and it takes so long to get to you that you don't remember what it is it took me a minute to figure out what these two boxes were. Even reading the top of them, I wasn't quite sure what they were. However, I figured out they are these gold LED lights that I got for my closet. Let's see. Oh, and the light's already on. Let's see if we can turn this off with one hand. Yep. Okay. So I like these because these are minis. I do have longer ones over um, artwork and family photos in the living room, but I wanted shorter ones for the closet because these are going to actually hang outside of the closet door. I have a reach in closet guys because I have a smaller home, but I wanted, um, wanted some gold ones and I didn't want to just get two large gold ones so I like the idea of these smaller ones I technically only need three uh, for the idea that I have but they came in sets of two so I couldn't buy them individually so I did get two packs so maybe I will put all four up maybe I'll only do the three um, but yeah these are rechargeable they each come with their own remote but presumably one remote can turn on both let's let's See if we can give this a try no okay well anyway um they each have their own remote so now i have <laughs> four remotes four sets of lights and all that jazz so i'll probably film a video when i put the lights up outside of the closet 
Next thing I picked up was the uh, Kiss Edge Fixer color in the color Natural Black Coconut. I'm going to be honest, this one was actually not a great sale price because I found it at the beauty supply store for about $3 cheaper than what I paid during Prime Day. So since this is not open, this actually will be going back to Amazon. But this works really, really well. And if you're a girly of a particular age and you're starting to gray in the front, but you don't want to dye your hair, um, I find that using um, edge control, colored edge control does help with that. So you cover the grays and you don't lose your edges by dyeing your hair or, you know, doing all the other stuff to it. Particularly if your grays are only in the front and you don't want to just dye the front of your hair. Uh, my suggestion is to get a colored edge control. That's what I use. Another trick and it might actually be cheaper. Um, if you go to, let's say, Dollar Tree and you find a mascara wand in like a dark brown or a black, you can use that to cover the grays in the front without having to dye your hair. All right, the next thing in my haul, I, I hope I can get this open on my own with one hand, but maybe not. Um, I like to use straws a lot both myself and my youngest son use straws all the time we go through plastic straws all the time and you know it's just not the best for the environment so i ordered this set of four glass straws they come with a cleaner and if i recall correctly it's two different shapes it's two straight straws and two angled straws let's see if i can get this out yep two glass straws and two angled straws. And these were a super good price. I got the four straws with the um, cleaning tool for, I wanna say $3.99. We'll just leave this wrapped up because I can't get this out with one hand. But four glass straws, two are straight and two are angled and the cleaning brush for $3.99 and that's a really good deal. All right, this next item I had actually already opened and used because they are drawer pulls. I repainted the cabinetry in my boy's bathroom. Oh. And I wanted some really like nice, distinguished looking drawer pulls. And I asked them if they were okay with like lions. And they said, yeah. So I got a 12 pack of these lions and they were $7.99 for the 12 pack. And I didn't need all 12, which is why I have the extras here. But these just look so good, guys. I was really excited to get these. And they came with the screw and we had already drilled the holes into the cabinets and the drawers. So we just swapped out the old drawer pulls and place them with the lions. And it actually makes their bathroom look a lot more sophisticated. Um, they're both 19 now, so I wanna do something a little bit different in their bathroom. They like it and I love it. So again, I got these on sale for $7.99. Now, I'm sorry, home is not home unless home is clean. I did have one of these previously, but we decided to get another one. So I picked up the Clorox Toilet Wand 3-in-1 Starter Kit. This one came with the wand, the scrubbing pads. It's six disposable um, scrubbing pads, the wand, and the caddy. And this one was on sale, I want to say $9 or like some weird price, like $9.35 or $9.50. But this was a really good buy and I was really excited. So I actually picked up two of these, one for each bathroom. And the last item in the Amazon portion of this video are these pillow covers, which I can tell you for certain are absolutely going back because they do not look or feel the way they looked online. So I was pretty disappointed by these. And I'll take one of them out. Just, it, it's very cheaply made and kind of felt looking. Um, and that's just not, like, that wasn't in the description. It's not what they look like in the pictures. And I probably should have read the reviews. So this one's my fault. I normally read the reviews on Amazon before I purchase something. 
I did not. Um, so I cannot stress enough read the reviews, particularly when it comes to fabrics. I was really excited to get these into the house. Um, luckily, I've changed my mind about a lot of things in my bedroom, so I don't need them anyway. Um, but my thought was I would still keep them if I wanted to swap something out later. However, they came in and they look like this. And I've spent, I want to say $16 for two. And the unfortunate part is I bought two sets, so I spent over $30 for four pillow covers, and they all look like this cheap felt material. So they will, in fact, be going back. Now on to the Dollar Tree portion of this video. Because your girl likes to smell good and she does like to make a quick stop at the Dollar Tree, the Power Stick Brazilian Mist went viral on TikTok as a... Um, a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro, the, the yellow one. Um, I don't remember the name, but it has the notes of pistachio and salted caramel. I went into um, either Ulta or Sephora. I'm pretty sure it was Ulta. And I smelled that, and then I smelled this. People were right. This absolutely is a dupe to the Sol de Janeiro, the, the one with the pistachio and salted, salted caramel. It smells exactly like it. Now, I can say I sprayed it on myself the day that I picked it up. The smell does not last all day, but it does. It is it is pretty much um, a dupe, and it's pretty good. But if you want the smell to last all day, my suggestion would be that you carry it with you, and you kind of just like give yourself a spray or two throughout the day. Now, the one that people are not talking about is this one, and it is the soft floral with notes of fresh flowers. If you like florals, but like not too florally, not too sweet, this, I actually like this one better than the Brazilian Mist. And I looked up and found one Brazilian Mist and a few soft florals. So I picked up one of each. Both of these smell really, really good, but my favorite is the soft floral. So if you see it in Dollar Tree, just pick it up, give it a spray. It's only about 25 guys, just, just pick it up. It's really, really good. I like it a lot. One thing I could not find during Prime Day was the hydrating facial wipes. But I went into Dollar Tree and I found these. They are the, well, they clearly say um, compared to Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Towelettes. They are hydrating facial wipes with hyaluronic acid. And you do get 25 in the package for a buck 25. These are not like any other facial wipes that I have purchased from Dollar Tree. These are thick. They feel exactly like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Towelettes. I have used those in the past. I was pleasantly surprised when I found these at the Dollar Tree, so I did pick up two. I picked up one previously, gave it a try, loved them so much, went back to the Dollar Tree that I purchased them from and could not find them. So I just stumbled upon them when I went the last time. There were a few left, so I did pick up two. For a buck twenty-five, these are really, really good. And again, they're they're thick and they feel really nice. They are not like any other wipe I've tried from the Dollar Tree. So my suggestion is pick these up and then pair it with your Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Gel. Now, I will say Dollar Tree does have the dupe for the Hydro Boost Cleansing Gel. I did not like the way that felt at all. It felt very cheap, very watered down. So my suggestion is get the Neutrogena for the cleansing gel. And then if you don't want to spend the money on the wipes, find the wipes at Dollar Tree. Pair these together. And you can thank me later. When you see these in Dollar Tree, buy them. They work. They are fabulous. I don't care if you're like me and you're over 40 and you're still dealing with the issue or if you're younger and you see this video and you're dealing with the issue, just know that these heat pads work wonders. And at $1.25, pick up as many as you can. They're odorless. You do not put them directly on your skin. You place them on the outside of your undergarments. It, the heat will work through them. They work. Really, 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 really live by these every month. So when I see them, I pick them up. Last but certainly not least, when I see these, I pick them up as well. They are great to throw in your purse. They are the Vaseline Cocoa Glow Body Creams. 
These are perfect to travel with as well. They are 2.53 fluid ounces. And this is a little bit thicker than the actual um, Vaseline lotion. And I love using these. They go pretty quickly. But again, if you're traveling or if you just want to keep something in your purse, this is really, really good. And I'll show you how much I love the Vaseline Coco Collection. Hang on a sec. So I keep the Coco Glow in my purse but what i use otherwise is the coco radiant 48 hour moisture lotion and i mix that with the coco radiant body oil so my little tip is three parts lotion one part body oil and you can see like i live by this stuff i'm running out and need to get another bottle but this line impeccable immaculate i love it all right, y'all, we have two items left in the video. I did order two bags from Shein. Um, one, if I recall correctly, should be a dupe. <laughs> Do not quote me on this. I've not taken this bag out of the plastic, so I don't know what it looks like. In theory, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Coach Trail bag. That's more like a, um, a trunk, trunk type bag. That is $325, but it's currently sold out online. And I saw this and I was like, mm, let me just see if this would be a comparable dupe. I'm going to turn the camera off for a second so I can get this out of the bag. Immediately, it's a no. Um, yeah, it's definitely a no. Um, it's... I feel like you can just tell why it's a no for me. While I like the chain strap, that's really cute. Um, the fabric itself is giving very cheap and plasticky. Oh, even this, like this came dented. Like, oh no. Yeah, let's take a look at the inside. Yeah, guys, um, it's a no for me. This one's definitely gonna go back. I am on the wait list for the trail bag and the black and the white for coach. So if they become available, I'll get an email letting me know that it's available to purchase. I will happily wait for that and pay the 325 for that. Um, the dupe is just not, it's just not duping. So this one's a no. All right, this last one, I can tell by how small it is that it's gonna be a no just on the size alone, which is crazy because I love a good mini bag. Anyone who's watched any of my coach videos knows that I love a good mini bag. So this one was supposed to be, it's a denim bag and it's supposed to be small. And I was hoping that I could use this until the, um, what is it? It's the Coach Denim Tabby 20. It's the smaller one. The 26 is in stock right now, but I want the 20. I was hoping that I could get a denim bag just to kind of hold me over until the 20 comes back in stock because it said it'll be available in July, but I have not received any notification that it's available as of yet. Is this another fail? <laughs> This is definitely another fail. What is this? Okay, all right. I'll give it a try. Let's, first of all, like the strings are hanging out everywhere. Look at this, you guys. Like it's poor quality at its finest. Is this just coming off? Yeah, that's just coming off. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, and then there's the fact that like, I don't really like silver and I could have sworn I ordered the one with the gold hardware, not silver, no feet. If you watch my videos, you know how I feel about bags with feet. So this one's, yeah, I don't even think we need to like undo anything on the inside of this because well, we'll do it just because, but, um, yeah, this is definitely a no. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that was a big letdown.
All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Do all the things the other YouTubers tell you to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure you come back. We have some more videos coming up. We'll be traveling soon, so there will be some pack with me's and some travel content. The girl has been on a roll this summer, so I'm really, really excited. I'm working on the consistency, and this is working out. So just remember, your girl's a PM by day, and I'm working on my home by night, and I throw some travel in there. So again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.